there is typically the assumption among us service providers that as we build our skills and our experience and our credibility in the market that we should be charging more we should be raising our rates continually along with the years of experience that we have and I believe this for the longest time as well until recently so um, a couple months ago back in August I quietly raised the rate of my one-to-one -one coaching uh, and I raised it to a rate where it was still very affordable compared to my peers who were charging almost all of them were charging more and some some of them much more than me so even my higher rates were, were affordable and I believe that I totally deserve it I, I was like I'm still an amazing deal at this higher rate what's strange though and I didn't announce the higher price okay but what's strange is that over the next two months so I raised it in late August in September and October I got almost no inquiries from my private coaching very very strange because I usually get quite a few inquiries every month such that I've had a full practice for almost two years without having to reach out for any cl new clients at all they just kind of come to me because of my content and because of the word of mouth but suddenly the the inquiry stopped and so I was embarrassed by this and I thought I haven't changed anything in the way that I run my business the only thing that changed was that I quietly raised my price I didn't even mention the price raise in any social media I didn't mention it on email nothing it was just for for new clients they would have to pay that price it's only the people who somehow found my way to my private coaching page who may have seen that price increase and even on that page it didn't talk about the price increase you just gave the new price anyway long story short something weird happened the, 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 the inquiry stopped so in an sort of in an embarrassed to me I personally I was embarrassed and so I decided to lower the price down to my original rate and which is where I'm at now again without announcing this except now I'm sharing this lesson with you in, in this in this video didn't mention it in email didn't mention it to my clients didn't mention it on social media and then suddenly within a few weeks the inquiry started coming in again and now my practice is full once again with a longer waiting list than ever before and nothing changed except that that quiet price change up and then back down that nobody knew probably except me and I have to say I felt I totally deserved that new price and you know but so so here's here's the here's the lesson I believe that the universe God life was trying to remind me was actually kind of protecting me uh, reminding me of what my what I stand for kind of what my authentic business is about is doing business in a way that's different in a way that is not um, trying to be as far away from the rat race of always continually and there's a sweet dog who just came and said hi I have no idea who he is thank you thank you <laughs> for validating this video <laughs> thanks I have no idea who that dog is I hope it's okay um, yeah it's 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 you know I am going against the grain here that just because we grow in experience and in credibility doesn't mean we have to keep raising our price I live perfectly happily I am personally sustainable I you know we, we live well here in San Francisco California of all places not a, not a cheap city to live at a rate that I charge where I charge lower than people of, of my caliber I guess in, in my skill level so and here's the thing here's the maybe the the main the main idea here is that as I pay off my mortgage once I pay off my mortgage once I pay off my student loans and as as my books begin to sell better I might even lower my price even more in the coming years even with more experience that, that I've that I've gained and more skills and more uh, effectiveness I might even lower my price so I'm gonna go the opposite direction of how most people do it um, if as long as I can be 
sustainable and happy and I get to work with people that I, I love working with as long as I have enough why do I have to keep raising my prices I still put some money away into savings every year to meet my retirement goals so uh, anyway I, I hope that I can be a kind of a strange example of someone doing business in a different way that still works that allows me to feel really 